Hi guys, hope you're well and thanks for joining me in my kitchen. So today I'm going to show you a very quick and easy recipe that you can make alongside the roti matik. It's a chicken tandoori roti roll. My kids love it and I know you guys will love it too. And after that, I'm gonna also show you how to clean the roti matik. But before that, let's get straight into this recipe. Okay, so the ingredients that I've got is some cooking oil. I've got about 500 grams of chicken strips, some tandoori paste, and about one heap tablespoon. And I've got some dry spices as well. I've got one teaspoon of tandoori masala powder. I've got one teaspoon of coriander powder, one teaspoon of cumin powder, and half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. So to marinate our chicken, what I'm going to do is add in the tandoori paste and the spices. And we're just going to mix that and leave this in the fridge for about 30, to a, 30 minutes to an hour. If you do want to make it straight away, then you can as well. Just make sure that it's mixed in all properly and all nicely. Okay, so we're just going to mix this in nicely. And then what, you, what we're going to do is, I'm going to leave this in the fridge for about 30 minutes. Uh, but before that, we are going to cover that. So first of all, in my preheated pan, I'm going to add in some oil. And I preheated it and now we're going to add in the chicken and now we, I'm just going to put the heat on medium um, and I'm just gonna spread this a bit and we're going to cook this until the water has evaporated um, so I'm just going to get a lid and I'm just gonna cover that um, I let it cook for about five minutes um, but also I'm going to check on that as well to make sure that it doesn't stick and that it doesn't burn. Let's just check this quickly. Okay, so as you can see, there's still some water in there, so we just need to burn that off. But we're going to let that carry on cooking for a few more minutes and then I'll check that again. So as you can see guys, water's evaporated, the chicken is nearly done. So while this is happening, we're going to make our rotis in the roti matic and I'm going to give you a quick run through of how this is done. So my last video is a fully featured one on how it's used and how the rotis are made um, in this. But this is just a quick recap. Um, so click the link in the description below. What we've got here is we've got the flour inside here in this container, water in this and oil. So I'm okay with the settings here, the thickness, the roast level, oil. We're going to make four rotis. And then we're just going to press play. I'm going to start making it. Just doing a final check. So there you go, guys. The roti is puffing up nicely and it will soon come out. And there you go. That's one hot, fresh roti. Okay, so now we're ready to prepare our roti rolls. Um, so we're going to just say get a few pieces, a few strips of our shredded lettuce and some onions and of course you can also use tomatoes as well or any other vegetables that you like and then what we're going to do is just get a few pieces of the chicken strip And then I've got some mint yogurt. So drizzle that over. And then, so easy, we're just going to roll it. Just get some foil, just place that in there. And then we are just going to roll this over to hold it together and there you go
Now don't go away because I'm going to show you how to clean the roti matik. Okay, so after you've used it, but before you clean it, you need to make sure that the roti matik machine has cooled down. So what you need to do is you need to open this first. Now this is called a vertical tray. What you do is, to remove it, you just pull it out and then you can give this a wash. The rubber here, the black rubber, can be removed as well and you can wash this too. And this is a dough cup. Now how you remove this is you basically, you just hold the dough cup handle like this. You rotate to the left, out of lock position and just pull that down like this. And also, using the magic brush here, you can clear any residue around the kneading section. And these brushes that are part of a full cleaning kit come with every purchase. And also, if you need to, you can also clean the lid as well, but as you can see, mine is clean. Um, and also it's removable as well if you need to clean it. Um, now, to clean the inside of the top and bottom pans, this is what they call a magic stick, and this is what you would use to dry clean it, like this. And as you can see, you know, mine doesn't need any, need any cleaning. It's quite clean, even though I've used it quite a few times this week. So it's not that messy. So just going back to the parts that we removed um, with the dough cup, you can remove this also. Um, what you do is you just press the two tabs at the top of the stirrer and you push the stirrer inwards to remove it from the dough cup, like this. And then you just pull that down and you can wash all this then. And there's also an advanced cleaning that you can do, depending on how often and how much you use it, which can be activated from the main menu. So what you do is you just press off, you go into cleaning, which will give you some options. And depending on what part you want to clean, you can press the relevant button here. And if you're interested in more information about that, you can go on the Rotimatic YouTube channel, which has a very easy to follow guide, or also the Rotimatic app. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're new, hit subscribe to stay up to date with new recipes every week. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.